Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wookie Sasquatch channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at the Chopper Star Wars Vintage Collection from the Ahsoka series. And we're also going to be looking at the Chopper Retro Collection. And as I said, the difference in the cards got that flimsy red sticker I hate on these. But also, look at that card. That card looked like this when I got it out of the box. And I left it sitting there for about a day. Now it looks like that. Um, this card stock that they use on these retro collection figures is very flimsy. This is much sturdier. So um, there is a difference in the quality of the card stock on the retros. But let's go ahead and open the retro one first. So. Um, Pretty much looks the same on the back, so it's got different figure names. The ones from the Ahsoka line. I did not get all these. Oh, I got all of them, but I'm leaving them in the package except for Hera, Sabine, and Chopper. I got extras of those. Right, let's go ahead and open them. Alright, so in classic style, it has a sticker on it, like the old vintage figures did so i think that's fun for a chopper oh and it even clicks like the old ones that's cool not much articulation two legs and a head pretty much like the vintage r2d2 oh and the leg comes out so that's something the vintage r2d2 did not have is the third leg so that's a nice addition but that's pretty much all there is to him not much to go over really so if he, his head clicks and it's got the third leg it comes out it's got the sticker applied other than that not a whole lot to say about him let's sit him back here he's really small compared to the other ones let's open the vintage collection this is vintage collection this is vc304 set after the fall of the empire so Follows former Jedi Knight Ahsoka Tano as she investigates an emerging threat to a vulnerable galaxy. So it says the same thing as the heroin did. And they're and still having other figures on the back now. They're doing a picture of the card on the card that it's on. <laughs> so it's kind of weird, but they look all right. Let's go ahead and open it. Okay, so this little bitty piece here, it's microscopic. That's supposed to be the thing he throws at the other ship that attaches to it, like a tracker. Very small. And he has an alternate little antenna dish thing. It's more like it's rotating bent, whatever. Okay, and those arms went up through the holes in here to keep them held up, I guess. So. Now, the arms do not articulate. Oh. But his head does have like a ball joint on it. So he can kind of rock back. Or That's kind of cool. I like that feature. I don't like that the arms don't articulate. They do rotate. And they don't come out. Mm. Oh. I would like them to come out so you could have him without the you know, with that look, without the arms. So that part sucks too. These should be at least removable if they're not gonna articulate. Uh, anyway, this does come out. It goes back in good. The R2-D2 ones don't ever stay in, but that one stays in good, so that's good. He is a very small figure, so no bigger than he is. I would think that they could at least give us some arm articulation or something a little extra with him. That's kind of... For the price he is, that's pretty lame. And the wheel. 
The third leg doesn't come out either. I mean, for the price that he is, considering his size, he should have had an additional piece that could uh, be like a little flame piece or something like he's flying or something. I mean, I like the head articulation with the ball joint, but that's about all this one's got going for it. So that's kind of disappointing. Um, like I said, this does come out. So you can swap this out. Like he's aiming at something. That little piece there is very flimsy, though, so that'd break off if you're not careful when you're putting it in there. So you can have his little dish kind of looking around. You can put this little thing in his hand like he's about to throw it, I guess. They do turn. I don't know. It's, for the price, I mean, he's the same price as the other ones. So we're looking at like $18 a figure now, $17, $18. And I wouldn't be surprised you see this one at Ollie's. Because we are getting another version. We know that. The legs don't come off like Droid Factory or anything either. Um, we know we're getting another version because they're going to have one on the mural card that matches the HasLab Ghost card backs. So I'm hoping they update him for that because let's look at some other choppers from the past here. This one is the Droid Factory one from the Disney Parks. And yeah, it's probably not to scale. I'll give them that. This one's probably more to scale. I mean, they could make it where the arms could come out. Now this one, if you take the arms out, it leaves a hole in the side of his head. But they, what they could do is they can make a plate that goes and snaps in there that's orange on the side so you don't see that and if you want to you swap it out with the arms you could put those in and these have fully articulated arms and the thing still comes out on top of his head because you could put those little santa hats or whatever you get at disney parks on him and but you know we don't have the the ball joint head it just turns i'm okay with that the legs come off on these because you can swap them out with other droids and make you know their build a droid figure so i like that and you can even swap out his wheel with the thruster Now, I don't have a fire piece on there, so you just have to pretend there's fire coming out. But, you know, they could have easily done that with this. I don't, I mean, I know it's a smaller scale, but that's nothing they could not have done. They could have fixed that where that wheel comes out and it's tr swappable with a thruster and it had a fire piece or something. For the price we paid, that should have been included. The arms being articulated, I know these are super thin because they're it's more to scale, so it's a smaller figure. But like I said, they can have it work cut they come off like that one does, but also add the feature where you have a little plate with a peg on it that snaps in there when you want to have him without his arms out. And this one even came with a extra leg because in the Rebels show, he had that leg that didn't match. And then he found one that matched and he stole it. And he was, that was the whole episode where he stole the leg. And so, I mean, you can swap it so that the legs match even. So, I mean, it even came with an extra leg on that one. 
and it was cheaper than the vintage collection one at the time and they're probably about the same now i guess but um i mean come on hasbro all right so let's put this one back here this is the disney parks one with the extra leg and the extra thruster this is the vintage let me tilt down here this is the vintage collection it's head or rock and this is the retro collection this is the mission series version now oh one more thing on the the disney parks one this also comes out the vintage collection one does that but this one also comes out and you can poke it in there where it'll stay i think but it don't come out really easily if you turn them this way it comes out but it stays in pretty good most of the time so so it did have that feature also now the mission series one this does not come out it's basically like the retro one it's a little smaller than the retro one actually um it's got detailing instead of a sticker. But other than that, it's got about the same articulation. It's head turns, doesn't click, and the feet turn, and that's it. I mean, the legs. So, you know, it's it's more in line with the retro scale in there. So we'll put him over here by the retro one. And then we got the Black Series Chopper. And this one has all the bells and whistles. I think it's arms fold up. Yeah, it's arms will fold up and go inside like he actually does in the show. So that's pretty cool. That'd be better if they could do that with that one. I know that's a little more because it's so small and the arms won't won't articulate. I understand that, but they could at least give us a swappable plate there. I guess it's still orange. It probably should be like a gray color, that plate. Now the retro one don't have gray, it's orange, but the rest of them do have like a gray plate. So even even the Disney Parks one, when it's got a hole there instead of the arm, it's not that noticeable. I mean, it is, but they just give us like an extra plate that went flush with that. I might even try to 3D print one. But just a little plate with a peg on it for when he's not got his arms in all right the black series one his arm comes out and it's articulated that's one good thing about the black series they're large enough you can do more with them with articulation and stuff his feet actually are articulated at the leg there a little bit not super articulated but um head turns but does not rock it doesn't have a ball joint now if they made this like that that'd be pretty cool um what else his third leg can come out it has a piece that goes up in there and then that can go there i've misplaced my little piece here so um but you can make him look like he's got a fire effect so and they have another one they put out. I believe it's the exact same figure. And it's actually in the Rebels card. In the Rebels montage and everything. So this is the Rebels line. So he's in the Rebels line twice. And it's the exact same figure as far as I can tell. So I don't, I didn't get it again. So if anybody knows if there's any differences between... The first version that came out and the current version that's out, let me know. But I think it's the same. But like I said, these are cool the way they do the arms on these. That's super cool. And I wish I had my little thing. I'll find it probably later today. But, you know, he's like he has a blast effect coming out there. I think it looks like the thruster. And it attaches to this, if I remember right been a while since i opened this one but now that's what i was talking about they should have done with the vintage collection they should have at least made this swappable and have a fire piece coming out and have the have the arms 
where you could, I mean, that would be a little bitty hole even. If these just popped out, you probably wouldn't even hardly notice the hole because it's so small on this one. So I don't know. I think they could have done more for what they charged us for it. I'm a little disappointed in that one. All right, so this is every chopper figure that's out so far, as far as I know. I mean, it's not a really big figure or something. Um, you know, they have like the chatterback chopper and stuff like that. They're bigger, but this is all the six inch and, and three and three quarter inch scales figures that we have so far. Unless the one, the new one that, of these that came out is different. But I believe it's the same figure. It's just repackaged. The box is different. It's got a new number. It's got a new picture for the montage for the Rebels Black Series. But it's the exact same figure on the inside, I think. Okay, so this is all the figures so far. That they've come out with three and three quarter inch and six inch lines. Like I said, I believe this one's the same one as the one that's out currently. If I'm wrong about that, let me know. Um, I, if it's different in some way, I'll get it. I'll try to look that up and see if anybody's compared those. But um, I believe it's the same one. It's just been repackaged. And out of all these, the Droid Factory one is my favorite. Even though it's this, the Vintage Collection might be more to scale. That's still my favorite. I'd rather it be bigger and have all those features if the droid factory one had a head that rocked like the vintage collection one does there where you can have a ball joint it'd be perfect so um if it was scaled down a little bit and if it had the plates it would swap out like i was saying um but other than that that's my favorite one vintage collection one there just point it in for what they charged us if they charge just, you know, five or six bucks less, I'd be all right with it. But for them charging the same price as a regular figure, it's overpriced. It should have had a lot more features. Um, the retro one, it's pretty good for a retro version. Um, it's got, it, it looks like a retro style figure and head clicks and the sticker and all that. So I like it for the price. Um, it's smaller than the other retro figures, but you know, R2D2 was too in the original line, so I'm all right with that. Um, this is the Mission Series chopper. It's pretty good. It's got detailing instead of a sticker, but I'm all right with it in the fact that that was the only thing we have for a long time. But you know, they've they've upgraded now. This is definitely my favorite, the Droid Factory. Now. The Black Series, you can't beat it. To me, I mean, as far as all of them, that's my favorite. Because of the way the arms will actually go inside the head and fold up and all that. But uh, it could have a uh, ball joint head. But that's kind of a new thing they did. So that is that is kind of up and coming, the ball joint droid head. So that's, that is an improvement. I'll give them that. But um, they just redid that one. If they put it out and the head would have a ball joint like that it'd be the perfect figure but i'm kind of more partial to the three and three quarter inch figures because i like the world build and it's hard to do with the really big ones so um i don't know overall that's my favorite though and out of all the three and three quarter inch ones the droid factory is my favorite anyway i hope you liked the video if you did please hit that like button and you can subscribe there in the lower left corner. And you'll get notifications when I drop new videos. And I just did a Hera video kind of like this where I compared all the different Hera figures. So you can check that out there. And there's some other videos. Thanks for watching.